A man from Orleans has filed a complaint with OC Transpo over language. Michel Thibodeau says he wants drivers to call out stops in English and in French. Paul Morissette reports. A recent court decision forced these drivers to call out stops. But one local man says that's not good enough. My mother tongue is French and I like to be served in French. And, uh... Michel Thibodeau is a regular OC Transpo bus rider. The Orleans man has written to OC Transpo to complain about the lack of French service on buses. The city's bilingualism policy recognizes both official languages as having the same rights, status and privileges. But Michel Thibodeau says that's not what he's seeing on the buses. I would like the uh, bus driver to be able to welcome me in French as, as in English. Uh, bonjour, hello. And uh, whenever he makes an announcement, he or she makes an announcement for a stop or uh, talks to passengers, that it be in both official languages so that the Francophone population doesn't feel like uh, they left out. Our employees uh, are not uh, considered bilingual positions. Alain Mercier runs OC Transpo. He sympathizes with Thibodeau and says the transit company is doing everything it can to accommodate francophones. We're uh, hoping to get an automated system put in place, uh, which would uh, resolve certainly uh, the nature of the complaint and uh, certainly provide a much uh, higher level of service to all our customers. Thibodeau says that misses the point. If a bus driver, for example, needs to talk to the passengers on the bus and announces a detour, a mechanical problem, uh, or tells uh, passengers, ask them to move back in the bus, obviously uh, an automatic uh, uh, machine or system would not be able to do that. Councillor Bob Manette says francophones need to be patient. The city has got to look at the present policy, and if it is not a bilingual uh, essential position, let's maybe look at uh, making it essential in the future. Thibodeau realizes getting his way may be difficult, but he's fought this battle before. Three years ago, he sued Air Canada for not having bilingual services on a flight and won. Hopefully the, uh, the new drivers that will be hired will be bilingual, and the uh, drivers that are in place now will be able to get uh, language training. Paul Morse at CBC News, Ottawa.